I have to pose a question to you. Who do you feel is responsible for your happiness? Is it the guy over there or the lady over here? Maybe the guy down the street? Is it me? I like what Michael Jackson said. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. If you want to know who is responsible for your happiness, stay tuned. Buying something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. So, before I get started, I am Tammy Sharice Walker. That's what the C stands for. I am a life coach and a therapist, also a social worker. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And for my return viewers, thank you. And please hit the like button for me. I really would appreciate that. It helps to get my videos going and it helps me reach other people. The purpose of this channel is to inspire others. My hope and my prayers are that my trials and tribulations that I have gone through and are going through. I say that because I'm still going through. We will until we are buried or cremated or whatever. Um, I hope these things help you. That's what I'm trying to say. So, who do you feel is responsible for your happiness? And that word is thrown around so effortlessly, yet still in so many variables connected to us getting to that happy place. So let's talk about what possibly makes you happy. I can only tell you the things that make me happy. It's um, spending time with my two-year-old great nephew and I was getting my hair done a couple of days ago and I grabbed my boots and put on my coat and he said, don't go. I thought that was so sweet. That makes me happy to know that a cute little two-year-old wants me around. That means the world. I get happy over a cup of coffee. I love coffee. I am happy to eat my omelet at work on Thursdays. I treat myself to an omelet. What else makes me happy? Spending time with my family, like Thanksgiving coming up. I know that's going to be amazing. I have some really sweet friends. I love having a meal with them. That makes me happy. I'm happy watching, I can't even say the Chicago Bears today. They disappointed me. It's not even over yet, and I already know they're going to lose, and I'm just disappointed. I'm very happy watching the Bears, though, when they win. And the Bulls, I love my Bulls. love basketball a little bit more than football. I'm very happy when I used to play tennis with my ex-boyfriend. We would play for 30, 45 minutes, and I felt like a new person after tennis. I'm very happy to travel. I love going to travel to see relatives. I think that's beautiful, but I also like going on a vacation and staying in a beautiful, luxurious hotel or going to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and walking on the beach without a care in the world. That makes me happy. I'm happy to have a productive day like I had today. I'm out in my kitchen. I'm out in my bathroom. I um, did laundry, two loads. I'm making dinner now. It's a happy day for me. It's a happy day. I'm actually very happy when I'm with most of my clients doing therapy. I love being a therapist, hearing, not so much hearing their problems. I'm not going to say I love hearing their problems. That doesn't sound very good, but I like being a sounding board for them. I like listening and I actually like trying to guide them down a path of hope, you know, encouragement, support. So that makes me happy. I'm happy volunteering to help others. I'm happy when I talk to Miss Laura on the phone, who's 91. I'm always happy talking to my friends on the phone, most of them. I have to be honest. They're Hey, that's the only thing I know to be. I'm always happy talking to my sisters and my grown niece and any of my family for the most part. I'm very happy when I talk to them. I'm happy talking to strangers. These are the things that make me happy. And I've noticed my happiness is not connected with buying a new house, getting a car. Those things, you know, they're cool, but they don't really last. So 
do material things make you happy? Maybe they make you happy. For me, it doesn't quite cut it. I'm actually happy when I'm getting ready for work and I look in the mirror, which is most days I feel I look okay. But some days, you know how you just nailed it. You'd be like, man, I'm doing it today. That makes me happy when I really look put together the way I like it. Uh, what else makes me happy? A good book. I love reading. I love when I sing live. I feel so happy. So, so, so happy. I love trying a new dish. I love trying to learn to swim. I like uh, any activity, like bowling. Those things make me happy. I like having fun. I like a funny movie. I like being in a healthy relationship that adds to my happiness. So now that I rambled off my happy list, I want you to think about some things. What makes you happy? Put them in the comments if you don't mind. I want to see what's going on with you. But at the end of the day, we can't sit and blame a failed marriage, our kids, our relatives that did not see about us when we were sick. We can't blame these people for our, our unhappiness. We can be disappointed in others, but are they responsible for us? And even when you are unhappy, you don't want to wallow in it for years. I'm not happy because I'm divorced. I'm not happy because I'm overweight. I'm not happy because I don't make enough money. And you sing this song for years. Every day we're alive is a day closer to death. You are wasting utter time. And the truth of the matter is people, they don't know you're upset with them. They don't care that you're upset with them. They are not responsible for you. You can only change you. I told the story of being in an abusive marriage so much. I made my own self sick. And that's what made me stop talking about it. One day I told the story. I was in an abusive marriage and I heard my, I caught myself and I was like, oh my God, I cannot tell this story anymore. I, and I still do because I'm telling you, but I don't use it as a crutch. I remember going to therapy in 1998 or nine and my therapist at the time said, Tammy, I know what he did to you, but you have to take blame for staying. And it was true. And I do. And I did. So I want you to do the same. Whatever is going on in your life, take responsibility. Of course, if somebody abused you, molested you, all those really horrible things, neglect, neglected you, forgive them if you can. And if you can't, try to get support in that area. But I want you to be able to let that go and become happy with yourself. Find your way to happiness. It's a quest. And it's, it's not like wake up every day and, oh, you stretch. I'm happy. It's sometimes it takes work. I'm not happy every day. I'm not going to lie and say I am. Uh, I think for me, a big part is maybe going to do something I don't quite enjoy that can affect affect my mood. But I know at the end of the day, that's a means to an end, but I do have my therapy um, position that gives me great joy. I do have my nieces and nephews that give me great joy. I have my TV programs I love that give me great joy. I have this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel has been therapeutic for me, <laughs> and I hope it's helping you. So you see, um, the days I'm not particularly happy, I really make sure I read Psalms 56, Psalms 23 or I go to my prayers, or I read something positive, I look at some positive YouTube videos. We have to work at being happy. It's a choice. And when I speak of happiness, I'm never talking about clinically depressed people. You know, I'm, I'm talking about people who are situationally unhappy because they don't have a boyfriend, they don't have a girlfriend, their wife left them, their job, don't they don't make enough, they're under tremendous stress which I'm not even going to really touch on stress because that's huge. If you're stressed out, it is hard to be happy. But what can you do to change it? No matter how big your problem is, no matter how big, you can name any problem you can think of besides having a terminal illness. You can change it. I'm overweight. You can change it. My wife left me. You can't change that, but you can change you. 
My kids are disrespectful. Can't change them, but you can change how you respond to them. I don't make enough money. Get another job. I can't find another job. Get two jobs. Do Uber. Some people, I'm telling you this Uber thing, now and Lyft, if you work a regular nine to five or whatever you do, if you throw in Uber or Lyft three to five hours a day, I know it sounds like a lot, but you guarantee, depends on where you live, at least 50 to 75 bucks, at least times five. You already got more money than you had. I know it for a fact. When I first started driving Uber, I was very unsure. And my dear friend, God sister in LA, told me, give it a try, because she had tried it. That day, I did four hours, maybe, or five. I made 70 bucks. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it was my first day. I was impressed. So it, where there's a will, there's a way. So we can't say these problems are making us unhappy because we have the power to change it. You are not powerless. You are not a victim. You are in charge of your happiness. Don't put it in the hands of a lady or a man. You take charge. And what people are supposed to do is add to your happiness. Nothing better than being happy, feeling good, feeling free. And here comes this good looking guy and he wants to take you out. That's a great feeling because you're already feeling good. And he's just going to add to your already happiness. Nothing feeling better than being a guy who... <laughs> I know I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm happy. And you meet a beautiful lady and you begin to form a relationship with her. She's going to add to your world that's already solid without her. She's just a spectator. <laughs> I'm being silly. But you all know what I mean. People that are confident, secure, happy, have peace and joy. They know no one is responsible for them but them and that's the, that's what sets people apart when they see someone that appears happy versus someone that's miserable it's because they choose to be miserable i hear often how some people complain about their grown kids i don't want to hear that crap man you you gotta put the hammer down on them they 35 they 29 and they living in your house and treating you like crap that's your problem and that's your fault we have to have boundaries. You don't let people treat you like crap. I don't care if I don't have kids. If I did, I could promise you, they wouldn't be doing that to me. Oh, you don't know, Tammy. Oh, I know. You, the buck stops here. And when you stand up for yourself, this is when you become happy. I remember many years ago, this girl, that's not very nice. She's a lady, but she really pissed me off. I was dating this guy. He was a dog. She was right. She was trying to tell me he was a dog, but her delivery stunk. She was screaming in my ear on the phone. This was like 19 years ago. And I asked her nicely. I'm like, hey, you need to stop hollering. I'm going to have to hang up. She started hollering again. So I just politely hung up. I never talked to her again to this day. Not that I'm holding a grudge, none of that. I got to be happy. I was so unhappy at that time. I was going through a depression. I'd be damned if I'm going to let some lady scream in my ear. I don't sleep with women. So even if it was a guy. I, I make a choice to choose who's in my life. And if you don't want to treat me with respect, I can't. And I want you to feel like that too. I'm not trying to tell you how to feel, but be like that. Have your boundaries. Make it up in your mind. It's non-negotiable. The buck stops here. And when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's when the happiness is going to come. When you stop putting up with toxic people and situations. In this life, nothing is perfect, but we can improve many situations. Again, hit subscribe, hit like. I could talk about this topic all day. It's a near and dear one to my heart. It just pains me to hear and see people miserable when they don't need to be. So um, drop me some comments on what keeps you happy, what has made you unhappy in the past, and how you changed it. Because I know my viewers... <laughs> My viewers are just sophisticated. They don't play games. I already know because I watch your, your channels too. Take care. Thank you for watching. Tammy C. signing out. Bye-bye.